Area 51 is a weird place full of secrets and disinformation. There is no doubt that some of the most incredible aircraft have either been developed or tested at this remote base. But there are plenty of stories which have stemmed from this facility, including the infamous Aurora and the TR-3B aircraft. So the bigger question is, is there actually a new form of propulsion which has been developed and kept secret for all these years at this base? Now that could very well be true, but it's really hard to tell at this point whether or not there was a proprietary type of propulsion system developed here. And if there was, it probably will never be revealed due to its economic implications. Ultimately, the black budget is estimated at a staggering $50 billion a year, and there will always be cutting edge technology developed under these programs. And so there definitely is a possibility that a new type of propulsion system has been developed in secrecy. It will probably only be a matter of time until we discover a new type of propulsion system which can transition from atmosphere to space. And once this kind of craft is built, then we will probably see highly classified research done remotely. Ultimately, in the future, there could be no Area 51 or even Edwards Air Force Base. But at this point in time, we do know a lot of fascinating aircraft have been tested at Area 51. And the ones that have been revealed have given us a very intriguing perception of what was developed at the time. But we just have to keep in mind that not all these aircraft were fully developed at Area 51. And a lot of them were actually just tested over the years at this base due to its remoteness. Now, one of the earliest aircraft tested at Area 51 emerged in the 1950s. This single engine aircraft was built at Skunk Works in Burbank, California, and then later tested at Area 51. It was very advanced at its time, and it could fly up to 70,000 feet. Naturally, this had to use a specialized fuel and pressurized suits to keep the U-2 pilots alive at these extreme altitudes. However, numerous U-2s did crash, and this did lead to a more faster and stealthier aircraft. Not too much longer, and the Project Aquiline Bict was started up under the CIA program, and this was intended to be an unmanned aerial reconnaissance vehicle. Now the first prototype was a power glider, but eventually variants were tested at Groom Lake and this was eventually designed to fly at an altitude of 1,000 feet for about 3,000 miles. Now this thing didn't have a go to home function or anything like that, and it basically was flown by a video camera via ground station, and this was compared with satellite imagery. It was driven by one propeller, but there were plans to develop a nuclear propulsion system which would have allowed it to stay in the air for around 50 days. And this highly exemplifies that some of the most amazing aircraft were developed over a half a century ago. Not too much longer and the very fast A-12 was developed. And this was the predecessor to one of the most iconic aircraft in the world, titled the SR-71. This highly secretive plane was built in 1962 and had very phenomenal numbers, including a top speed of Mach 3.2 and a maximum altitude of 90,000 feet. However, this particular A-12 was short-lived, and it did retire in 1968, thereby giving the throne to the SR-71. Now, the Blackbird was one of the most amazing aircraft ever built, and it could fly from coast to coast in the continental US in just over an hour. Featuring a titanium airframe, the SR-71 could be easily seen as one of the more advanced aircraft derived from Area 51 research. 60 years later and Lockheed Martin is finally working on its successor which is titled the SR-72 and this new hypersonic demonstrator will be fully autonomous and have the ability to perform high speed intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance operations. It will feature a dual mode ramjet and turbine based combustion cycle for extreme hypersonic speeds, roughly up to Mach 6 and it's about time that we have something which can outperform the SR-71. Many aircraft are now being tested at Area 51, and a lot of stories were starting to come out at the same time. But there is no doubt that the Northrop Tactic Blue is one of the weirdest aircraft. First flown in 1982, it was created to demonstrate stealth abilities while collecting intelligence data. It was the very first aircraft to feature curved surfaces for radar cross-section reduction, a single inlet, and two turbofans provided over 5,000 pounds of force each. Ultimately, it was very slow and one of the more unstable aircraft, but it was way ahead of its time in terms of stealth capabilities. And eventually, this technology migrated over to the B-2 and the F-117A. This oblique odd craft was once again developed by Lockheed Martin, and it was the first operational stealth aircraft. 
Its surfaces and edge profiles are meant to reflect hostile radar into narrow beams, and its cross-section was equivalent to a small bird. It carried a variety of laser-guided bombs and air-to-surface missiles. However, it did have limited maneuverability and speed. And it also had a very fast touchdown rate at 190 miles per hour, so it did require some top piloting skills. Now, one of the last aircraft I'll mention which was revealed publicly at the base was the Bird of Prey. This was a very strange aircraft developed as a technological demonstrator for stealth technology. But the, one of the weirdest things about this point in time is that this project only cost $67 million. And there is a lot of speculation that there was money being poured into other Black Ops programs. So where was the money going? Well, there are tons of stories coming out of Area 51, but I think one of the more interesting testimonies stems from Edgar Fouché, who was an Area 51 employee at the time. He claimed that there was a craft called the TR-3B, which could negate gravity by up to 89% by utilizing a superconductive plasma rotated at high RPMs. Now this is a pretty far out claim because there is no such thing as a superconducting plasma. So I'm very skeptical about this design claim. However, one parallel to this story is the Potnikov experiment. And he's also made the claim that a rotating bilayer superconductor can create some weight loss. Now this might seem a little bit crazy to the average person, but NASA did take a very high interest in these experiments. And unfortunately they abruptly ended the research before they could verify these results. Now the flip side of this argument is that the TR-3B was just a prototype before the B-2 bomber and that it had no anti-gravity properties. But one thing is for sure, that is that Area 51 has not revealed a lot of information in the past 20 years. And there's literally billions of dollars unaccounted for. So whether or not it's going towards some type of aircraft which can defy gravity, or maybe some type of super weapon, we just do not know. That is why Area 51 is still one of the most mysterious places in the world. Anyways, I would like to know what you think about all this, so please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.